Hey guys, it's Jaylen. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you one of two Scentsy Quarterly Clubs. This is my bigger one. The other one's not that much smaller. And there's a lot of bars here. Now, the last time I did this video was, I want to say, December or January. And that's when I had all the spring summer bars in there that I had kept in from the from last year's catalog so I've now kind of switched things out and there's more fall scents from this past fall winter fall winter scents from this past catalog and then like limited edition stuff and some new bring back my bars so let me share with you what I got the first thing I want to show you it's not wax related it is the new cotton cleanups you guys this is small these are tiny. I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about these. I like the bigger ones better. <clears throat> so I'll give them a try. Moving on to the bars. This is in no particular order. I just have like everything is on here on my vanity. So it's gonna take some time to go through. All right, I do have scent notes for everything. The first one I have is Buzz Lightyear to Infinity and Beyond. This was from Bring Back My Bar this past round. So scent notes for this are fizzy orange and black currant are cosmically balanced with a plum blossom and sugared raspberry. Not with a, with plum blossom and sugared raspberry. I love this one. Now I was watching Robin, Robin's Corner Oh, what is her YouTube channel name? Her name is Robin. Okay, it's Ra Robin H. I was like, where is she? I couldn't find her in my subscription feed. Anyway, I want to say it was this bar where she mentioned that after it sat for a while, the smell changed. So I'm hoping I don't experience that. I love this one so much. Anyway, all right, moving on. Next up, I have Creme de Menthe. This was part of the Mardi Gras collection from this year. And I believe it's still available. Scent notes are a sprig of garden mint. Mixes it up with sweet peppermint and sponge sugar. If you like peppermint scents, okay, you know those, those candies that you can get at a restaurant that are like white, mostly white, they're individually wrapped. And they have a little bit of a red ribbon rubbing through it, but they're like soft and they kind of melt in your mouth. That is what this smells like to me. This is so good. Love. Next up is Candy Orchard. This is a scent of the month. A cloud of sponge sugar mixes with sweet raspberry and warm vanilla and a candy candy coated fantasy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think this was from January. I love this. It's on the lighter side. I think it's beautiful in the bedroom. Love. Next up is Vanilla Walnut. This is another one that was part of the Bring Back My Bar from January. Set notes are warm fragrance with toast, roasted walnut and sweet vanilla bean. Now I have not melted this yet. Or maybe I have and it was on the light side. I don't think I have. But I've kind of been waiting for this to sit because it's a vanilla and I know it was light when I originally smelled it. I think this smells so amazing, so I'm going to keep getting it for a couple more rounds. I probably won't melt this until the fall. That's what I'm thinking. Winterberry Apple Tea. This is one that I clubbed from the fall winter catalog. This is Winter Tea Cozies Up to Cranberry, Apple, and Honey. One of my favorites from the fall winter catalog. I love this one. I think I got sick of it for a little bit, but and so I didn't melt much of it last year, but when I did, I was like, oh, it's so good. So it stayed in my club. I don't think of it as a very honey leaning scent. I don't really like honey scents. That one to me is a beautiful combination of all three. I feel like the honey adds some sweetness to it versus a honey note. Next up is Rum Pum Plum. I wish I had put two of these in my club. Ugh. This is so good. Sweet plum jam and vanilla sugar and a flaky buttery crust. Now this to me 
is way it's and I've heard this explained in other with uh, from other YouTubers that this is definitely more of a like sweet plum pastry with a heavier bakery note definitely more of a bakery note this is beautiful like beautiful I hope this makes it back into the fall winter catalog this year because that was my one of my favorite bars of the holiday collection turn up the pink now this was part of the breast cancer awareness collection and I think I ended up taking all of these out of my club but they still shipped in this in this quarterly subscription raspberry and vanilla balance rich sandalwood in a soothing blend with a touch of sweetness out of all of them I think this one was my favorite but I don't remember it smelling very strong and I'm getting a little bit of a licorice note in here, which is not my favorite, but I think I ended up taking all of those out of my club. White pumpkin and driftwood. This one, crisp white pumpkin and driftwood burnished by white cardamom and white warm solar amber. This one is so good warming. It is so pretty. It's a really beautiful fall scent. To me, kind of like a bedroomy scent. It's really lovely. Next up is Perfect Peppermint. This is just straight up peppermint. I use this as a mixer. Very nice mixer. This one also came out of my club after the shipment. Peony Petals. This one I think is Peony and Rose. Yeah, Peony and Rose Petals. I just can't smell it when it's melting. It's pretty... And it's probably, for me, a better bathroom scent, which is probably where I'll end up melting this. I ended up, the last two I melted in the bedroom and I couldn't smell it. So I'm going to put this one in the bathroom and hopefully it performs much better there. By the way, Ziggy is here. He's just, I'm, I'm covering him up. We have Blackberry Spice. This was a bit of a departure for me to club. I'm not a fan of spicy scents, but this one is a really good blender. Ripe blackberry bundled up with cedar wood and fresh clove. It kind of has almost a little bit of a ghostly greetings vibe to it. At least right now it does. And maybe that's why I enjoyed it because I love ghostly greetings. So yeah, this is a, I really do like that one. It's a nice mixer. Lavender vanilla. This one, I don't think it was a very popular choice from the spring, summer. No, January, bring back my bar, but this was one of my favorites. A relaxing mix of hillside lavender, vanilla beans, orange zest, and patchouli. I think this is so beautiful. In the bedroom, it's gorgeous. I love patchouli though. Next up, I have two of toasted caramel sugar. Warm milk with caramelized sugar and toffee all swirled together with a scent of Silky Sweet Vanilla Musk. I love this one. To me, this is really pretty on its own, but it's also great mixed. That's why I have two of them. Eventually, I'll probably take it down to one, but for right now, I have two. Same thing with this one. This is Salted Caramel Toffee. And let's see, scent notes for this. The sweet scent of salted caramel takes melted... Okay, I didn't do the whole description. Salted caramel, melted toffee, and butterscotch. Yeah, it's just, it's a good fall bakery sweet vibe. I wouldn't melt this now, but I'm going to melt it in the fall winter. Next up is Cozy Cardigan, one of my Holy Grail favorites. I love this. Even though I think quarter, what is it? Cashmere and corduroy is a little bit stronger. I still love this one. So this is soft suede blushing rose and amber silk. Mmm, it's so pretty. Oh love that one. Another duo. This is a, a duo. I've had a lot of these caramel sugar cone. I should probably take one of these out, but I kind of don't want to right now. Guilt free gooey caramel vanilla sugar cone and a touch of malt. I didn't really notice the malt at first. But now after smelling like those others and melting this, I do smell the malt in here. And I like what that adds to this scent. It's lovely. Another one I added from these uh, fall winter is Snowberry. 
This one I was like, I don't know if I'm out of back, and then I melted it, and I'm like, yeah, it's coming back. Luscious blend of Loganberry, Strawberry, Peppermint, and Zesty Cinnamon. This is probably, oh my God, that's so good. This is probably one of the few bars that I haven't, or only bar that I have in my club that has cinnamon in it. Because even though the cinnamon is there, it's more, it's not a, I wouldn't say it's a red hot cinnamon, but the cinnamon is there and it is zesty, but I like this one. Next one, I think this got retired from the fall winter catalog, Ariel Under the Sea. This one is Emerald Water, Crisp Green Apple, and Blue Hibiscus. One of my favorites in the bathroom. Oh, it is so pretty. So pretty. I'm gonna actually going to leave this one out because I'm going to have a battle of some of my fresh scents here in a minute. Arctic Kiss. This one I don't think came back, and I actually don't have the scent notes for this one, but this one's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love this one so much. Oh, I wish I had sent notes. Well, here, let me get them for you. Cool Arctic mint and fresh air embrace the warmth of fluffy vanilla clouds. I don't smell mint. I don't smell fresh air. I definitely smell the fluffy vanilla clouds. But the cool Arctic mint, if it's there, it's very light. This is just so pretty. It's beautiful floral. I mean, I, I smell floral when I smell this. It's gorgeous. These are two that are new Disney collaborations. And let me go ahead and pull up scent notes for these. They're both florals. So this one is the 100 Dal 101 Dalmatians bar. It's called Top Dog. And scent notes for this are sweet lily blooms on a walk in the park while treats of apple and raspberry really get those tails wagging. Yeah, this is too much something. I guess it's the lily. I definitely smell the apple in here. And a hint of the raspberry, but the floral in here is a little bit too strong, at least on cold. I still haven't melted it yet, so I'm going to have to give that one a try. And then the next one I have is the Aristocats bar. This one is called Positively Perfect. I love this name. Love this name. I love cats. I show my cats all the time. Well, Ziggy's usually in most of them because he follows me around. Milo comes and begs for food. Marley, I don't think I've ever shown. If I have, it's just like randomly I'll pick him up if he's at my feet. So this is Sweet Cherry Blossoms and Creamy Vanilla. Play a beautiful medley as fresh spring air guides you home. I th there's something about this one I don't like. And I think maybe it's the air note because I think I usually like cherry blossom. Like it's not my favorite, but this feels too much like a, there's too much of a green note in here that I'm not vibing with. But again, I haven't melted those yet, so I'm going to have to give them a try. All right. Next up, I have vanilla barnwood. This one is a lighter scent, but I'm again wanting to do the same thing with this as I did with, or I'm doing with vanilla walnut and like hold on to it for a while. Barn wood covered with creamy vanilla and rich amber conjure a pish, pish, picturesque snow covered countryside. <laughs> oh, even now I can smell that it's stronger since the last time I smelled it. Oh my God. Wow. That's beautiful. Okay, next up is Midnight Masquerade. This is Sugar Beignets and Smoky Vanilla Dance Behind Delicate Masks of Midnight Lily. Another one from the Mardi Gras collection. And another one I'm not sure about. This is a, this is a scent when I smell it, I'm like, I think I'm gonna love this. It's very unique. I don't smell beignets, but I smell like this deep, deep, not powdery floral with that vanilla in the background and it's not like campfire smoky it's just sultry smoky and I think this is one that I could really love but the last time I melted it I didn't smell it so I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna keep it in the club for a couple of rounds at least and let this one sit 
and then maybe in the fall I'll melt it and see how it does because I think that is really beautiful and it's a unique scent that I haven't seen since he do. Next is another fall winter bar that I added in. This is Polar Bear Hug. Used to be called Eskimo Kiss. And this one is Blackberry Jam, Caramelized Brown Sugar, Vanilla, and Amber. I love this one. This is so good. It's beautiful in the bedroom. Love, love, love. We're gonna be here for a while, guys. I don't know if I, I didn't mention that, but this is a big club. Cashmere and Corduroy. This is Creamy Vanilla, Sicilian Bergamot, and Cashmere Sandalwood. This is so pretty. Especially if you let this one sit and let it cure for a while, it performs beautifully. Highly recommend that one. Hopefully it comes back. Simply Patchouli. This is basically a patchouli scent and I find it to be a really lovely earthy patchouli. This is so good if you're a patchouli fan. Oh my gosh. If you don't like patchouli, you will not like that one. Next up is Mint to be Merry. This was a scent of the month, I believe. Scent notes for this are crushed candy cane, sparkling sugar, and a creamy butter cookie. Yes, yeah, scent of the month from November of 23. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. Amazing. Forever Flannel. This was part of the brick winter brick collection this past year. Now, I still have not melted this. I may actually pull this one into the laundry room to melt. Get comfy with soft lavender, warm sandalwood, and an inviting touch of bergamot. This is, it's not really even a laundry scent. Oh, it is so pretty. I'm, I'm actually going to melt this in the bedroom in here. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Next, I have Frozen to the North Calls. So this is a mix of berry, grapefruit, lily of the valley, and a touch of marine. I love this. This is so good. But you know what? I meant to keep my... Okay. I'm going to keep this one out with Ariel and the other fresh scents because I kind of want to sew that together. When I have melted this in the bathroom, I know I've been like, what? Because it's so beautiful. So we're gonna keep it in. Next up I have the, one of the Willy Wonka bars. This is Everlasting Gobstopper. And the scent notes for this one are orange pop and candied sugar with bright tangerine. Create a delectable delight that's too good, too good to give away to slug worth. This one's, okay, this is, is this the one? No, Everlasting Gobstopper, I, I think I've already taken out. It's fine. It's like a candy orange scent, but the other two I've kept in because I want to try melting them again, but they're not up next. Next up is Ruby Nectarine. This one did not make it back into the spring summer catalog, which I think is a complete shame. Nectarine and Ruby Apple blend with pear, blo pear blossom. It is so good. It is so strong. It's amazing. I smell mostly fruity versus floral. Then I have Clementine Cupcake. I love this one. A warm vanilla cupcake infused with sweet clementine and sprinkled with lemon sugar. Like, why is this not still in the catalog? This is fabulous. A beautiful citrusy bakery scent. Love. Okay, here's one that I want to try out. Pacific Mist. I want to compare it to these others that I have. So Pacific Mist, misty ocean air wafts through coastal sea salt and driftwood with a buoyant touch of tropical nectar. It was the sun of the month from June of last year. That's really good, shit. It's really nice. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to test, test smell everything. From the Willy Wonka collection, Fizzy Lifting Drink. This is one that I originally was like, I don't think it's, I can smell very much in it, but a friend of mine loved it, so I'm going to give it another try. Sparkling orange and fizzy grape soda are like shooting stars mixed with sweet raspberry and light as a feather vanilla. That sounds lovely. I just, it's light for me. So maybe I'll let this one sit for a while. God, that smells really good. It smells better and stronger when I when I break it up. I Pink I Can, which was, again, part of the 
Breast Cancer Awareness Collection. And this one is a lively mix of coconut water, tropical stone fruit, and hibiscus, hibiscus nectar. This one's light. Yeah, it's light, and I feel like it's a little bit too floral, so I ended up taking it out. Pink Spreads Hope. Again, the Breast Cancer Awareness Collection. Hope blooms in a bouquet of pink parfait rose and violet accentuated with leafy greens. Yeah, that's like too powdery for me. So anyway, all of these came out. Positively Pink is the last one. And the set notes for this one are raspberry and vanilla balance rich sandalwood and a soothing blend with a touch of sweetness. I think if I was going to keep one, it would have been this one. But I remember it being very light. Yeah, that one's light. So I think I took it out. All right, moving on. Peter Pan. This is sweet and sassy. And this one is really good. This is Tinkerbell. I'm sorry, sweet and sassy. Feisty tangerine, lush kiwi, and cucumber blossom with a dash of musk and pixie dust. I love this one. This is a great, like, lemony scent. But that musk adds something to it. I really like it. Tahitian Twilight. This is one that may end up coming out of my club. It's been a while since I've melted it. And the last time I remember melting it, I don't think it was very strong. So this is a gentle wave of coastal waters brings together flirty passion flower, pineapple, and white woods. And this was a scent of the month from July of last year. Yeah, it's pretty. It's just light. So I'm going to melt it one more time and we'll see how it does. This is ocean air and coconut water. And let's see, another one that I'm going to test with these other fresh scents. Scent notes for this are coconut water and drift white driftwood join carefree ocean air for a perfect day on the shore. It's part of the summer collection last year. It's good. Hmm. Hmm. Next, I have two of Counting the Stars. This was part of the, what do they call this collection? Wide Open Spaces. A nighttime breeze of juicy strawberry wafts over fresh leather studded with twinkling white woods. When this is melting, it is amazing. Oh my gosh. Sexy bedroom scent, but I feel like this, and it, I haven't melted it yet this time of year. I should try that because of the strawberry. Mmm, I love it. Love it. Next up is a peeling apple. Love, love, love. This is the sugary sweetness of juicy apple and lively pear with flowering sweet pea. This is amazing. It's, I love this apple scent. It's one of my favorites that Scentsy has done. Love it. Sparkling Yellow, another one that was pulled from this past spring-summer catalog, which I'm very sad about. This one's so good. Set notes for this one are Radiant Lemonade brightened by flashes of zesty grapefruit and pineapple. This is so good. Mm. To me, it's a totally different bar than the Tinkerbell one. Yeah, the musk in here and the pineapple in here make these two totally different lemon scents to me. <laughs> okay, next up I have two of Frightfully Delightful. This one surprised me last year. I was very excited about it. And when I melted it, I was like, this is totally different than what I'm smelling. So the scent notes for this are Golden Pineapple, illuminated with bright harvest peach and delightful touches of whipped vanilla, and brown sugar. So the scent notes there sound fabulous, like fabulous. But when I smell this, to me, I smell like a typical fall pumpkin scent. But then when I melt it, it's freaking amazing. So I have two in my club. We'll see if I still feel that way this fall winter. 
Next up is Street Parade, another one from the Mardi Gras collection. This is my favorite out of the bunch, and I didn't get scent notes for this one, so let me grab it. So this is a jamboree of blood orange, juicy plum, and golden pineapple. This is fabulous when it's melting. I also love pineapple and plum, so I love this. Cherry vanilla. I think this one's going to get the boot. I need to melt it one more time. This is a delightful swirl of candied cherry and sugared almonds folded into a velvety white chocolate ice cream. I think I was going to try melting this with happy birthday. Like mixing the two. And in fact, I think I have a happy birthday here. So I'm just going to set that one aside. Next one is beach. This one is one I always think, oh, I can take that one out of my club when I smell it in the clam, but then I melt it and it's a heck no. Set notes for beach are papaya and honeydew sweetened with a hint of coconut. Yeah, in the clam, I'm like, meh, it's okay. And then when I warm it, I'm like, what is that? And it's this. I know Susan Fitzpatrick feels the same way about this as I do. We jive on that one. Next up is the Willy Wonka Violets Turning Violet. This one I think was my favorite out of the trio. Sparkling orange and fizzy grape soda are like shooting stars mixed with sweet raspberry and light as a feather vanilla. Did I already do that one? That was the wrong one. <laughs> this is don't be surprised when blueberry, white cherry, and crystallized sugar turn dessert all shades of scrump diddlyumptious violet. This one does have like a bakery note to it and I'm not, I'm not sure where it's coming from. But yeah, we'll see. I don't feel like it's strong enough to keep so I'm gonna melt all three of these again and see what I think. Next I have two of Vanilla Suede. This is one of my favorites, favorite vanillas. This is classic comforting vanilla combined with rich amber and hints of sandalwood and spice. It's so good delicious. I would love to get more vanilla oud. I think that one's harder to come by. Speaking of happy birthday, I have two happy birthday bars in my club and they, the set notes that they have for this one is Candylicious confection of sparkling sugar, fluffy whipped cream, and warm vanilla extract. So I'm going to try melting these two together and see what I think. Next up is Pink Leather. This is also a scent of the month from last year. This one is wild strawberry topped with rich toasted vanilla, adds a lovely sparkle to smooth pink leather. This is a scent of the month from August last year. Oh my gosh. It is so good. It is beautiful in the bedroom. I'm so glad I clipped that. This is another one that I think may leave. It's My Wish. And scent notes for this one are a confection of earthy figs, sweet violet, and playful marshmallow. I don't know, this one's really good too, but I feel like when I melt it, I'm kind of like, hmm. But maybe I need to melt it in a different room. Because I think typically I'll melt this in the bedroom. So I'm gonna try melting this in a different part of the house. Because I, so, I have like a, in my mind, a certain way a scent should smell, a, the way my bedroom should smell. And I feel like that one's too, I don't know, uplifting, bright. Like there's no sultriness to it. It's weird. But I used to feel differently about it anyway. Next up is Rainbow Red. Another one that didn't make it back from the spring summer collection last year. This is soft watermelon hues. I like the sweetness of cherry and strawberry. It's a great fruity scent. It is so good and it is so strong. White Sands. This one is a beautiful scent. The scent notes for this are night blooming jasmine softened by coconut milk and rice enveloped in the gentlest breeze. Oh, this is such a great summer bar. Love it. So good. And the last bar in my club is pink rhubarb sugar. I actually melted this last night in my living area and it was amazing. 
pink rhubarb sweetened with sparkling raspberry and an extra scoop of sugar. I'm so glad I clubbed this. It is so good. If you like fruity scents, this is just amazing. Amazing. And the last thing I have is my half off, half off item. I decided to go up with a brick of black raspberry vanilla. This is just a classic OG Scentsy scent and I love it. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. Beautiful. It's good to go back to the like OGs. This has been in the catalog forever for a reason. It's amazing. Okay, I'm going to re-sniff these four fresh scents that I have. Ocean Air and Coconut Water. Pacific Mist. The North Calls. Ariel. Under the Sea. I think the one I'm going to take out is Ocean Air and Coconut Water. This one just seems kind of lackluster. It's not. I know it isn't, but compared to the other three, I think I like the other three better. And then I also have in my other club, which I'll be filming that video pretty soon, Blue Coconut Beach. I think that's the only other fresh scent that I have. So right now, this one's the odd man out. Ocean, air, and coconut water. Anyway, that is my quarterly Scentsy Haul Part 1. Part 2 is coming soon. I somehow ended up with both my clubs coming in March. I need to change that because <laughs> it's a lot of money. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well, staying safe, and melting through your wax. Please hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.